So a short lesson on painting leaves on trees. The foliage on trees is usually green, so we'll choose a green tree, a gum tree, and I'll just tidy up the branches first, and that'll give us where to put the leaves. I start with a warm yellow, mix in a green or a blue to change the colour of the yellow, but don't mix it completely, and have your tones from dark to light. I'll bring a bit of white in there, that'll give us a very light tone for the top of the tree. Then I'll load my round hog bristle brush with dark on one side and light on the other side and take it to the tree and we dab it straight on to give us the dab dab brush stroke and we'll paint mushroom shapes around the top of the tree or umbrella shapes. Bring your darker foliage down over the lighter foliage don't have it stop on top of the mountain so dab 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 you can dab very slowly and learn how if you twist the brush you get dark come off sometimes and you get light come off sometimes. You can practice on a practice board. There's no need to practice on your painting. Practice in any colour, a light colour and a dark colour. Keep your brush well loaded and don't get lazy with your brush strokes. Do them deliberately right. If you just brush it on it never looks so good. I like to load my brush well and dab, 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 dab. And you get very crispy leaves on top of the gum trees. Different trees are painted with different methods, but they're all from light to dark. And you can finish off with a single colour on top. You could use white or pink. I'm using yellow at the moment. Notice the trees in the background are quite dull. So we go over them with a very vibrant colour and this will give you a lot of contrast and add depth to our painting. This foliage hasn't any branches. We can put them in later with a fine brush loaded with dark and light. Hold your brush with just two fingers and that way you can paint little fine lines for the branches. Now for this closer tree, we have a much closer tree. I've mixed here a very dark green and I'll run it through the yellow without putting any tint in the yellow. Then we'll dab it on. Now this is a scruffy old brush, but it should give me a good effect. Dab it on bigger than the background trees because this tree is much closer. Make much bigger umbrella shapes and then drag it down a little bit. And that'll give you the drooping leaf look. So have a look at trees when you're out and about and imagine how you could load a brush and reproduce exactly the same shape and tones as that tree. There's so many different trees and different colours and different shapes. So, dab, 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 dab. I hope you enjoyed that little lesson. I did. Thank you. Bye.